welcome back to the Kizigawa Europe Focus Channel. My name's Hamish Walker. We're here on location at XYZ Machine Tools in sunny Devon. I'm joined by Mike Corbett. Hi. And we also have Sophia. So Hamish, we're here to showcase one Kitagawa rotary table on two XYZ machines. Correct, and one of the main points I want to show you today is how easy it is to transfer a Kitagawa rotary table from one machine to another okay. using our independent fourth axis controller. So Mike, thanks so much for having us at your awesome technical centre. Now, please tell us why XYZ products are one of the leading providers of CNC machine tools by volume in the UK. It's a pleasure to have you both here to show this technology off. And to answer your question, I think it's that ability to supply a machine quickly to our end users. With over 300 machines in stock here at our head office down in Devon, 100,000 square foot, we can supply machines very quickly upon placement of an order. But it's not only that, it's the backup that we support our customers with. We have over two million pounds worth of spares in our stores department to be able to keep machines running and keeping customers manufacturing parts. We have a great service team that back the machines up. But I think one of the key reasons why we've sold so many machines, Prototrack was launched in 1992. And instantly manufacturers of one-off and small batch parts gelled with the conversational software. It's so easy to use and the big important thing is it integrates with third-party software like the Kitigawa 4th Axis. Thanks for mentioning that Mike. So what I wanted to show you today is the GT200 series rotary table and its very own independent 4th Axis control system called the Quinte controller. Yeah Hamish you've introduced the Quinte before and as I understand it you can link this controller directly to any CNC controlled machine. Yes, yeah, simply using the M code functions, you can use the CNC control on your machine to send start stop commands to the Quinte. When the Quinte receives a start command from the machine's M code, it will execute one line of the selected Quinte program. So you pre program your fourth axis operation into the Quinte before starting your machining process? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Multiple operations can be stored on the Quinte, uh, making it incredibly flexible. So Hamish and Mike have asked me to demonstrate how easy it is to move the Kitagawa rotary table from this machine to this machine under nine minutes. Surely guys, that is impossible. Oh, we have every faith in you, Sophia, that you can do that. So to prove it, we're gonna machine a part on the RMX 5000 here with the Kitagawa rotary. We're then gonna get you to transfer this table to the RMX 3500 get it set up and cut in apart in under nine minutes. It's impossible, guys, come on. <laughs> to assist in the installation of the rotary table, uh, we've mounted a zero point system on the machine bed, and we have an adapter plate on the GT200 series rotary table with studs uh, to allow for easy positioning of the rotary table. Ready? Ready. Let's go. And there we have it. Well done, Sophia. You had me worried there a few times. Oh yeah, you have little faith and I thought we were friends. I must say, Sophia, I am really impressed with how fast we've changed that over from one, one machine to the other. Mm -hmm. It shows our customers, both of the Kitagawa 4th Axis and the XYZ products, how quick and easy this has been able to be done. And it adds gravitas to the fact that if you're doing small batches of parts, we can flexibly move that from one to the machine to the other in a very, very quick time, rather than traditional length of time that it takes people to swap a fourth axis over. What has also impressed me is how quick and easy it is to use the Quinte controller with the Prototrack control to work together to make the parts. Yes, Mike, apart from the actual physical movement of the rotary table and attaching the Quinte cables, I was incredibly helped by using Prototrack to deliver the task under nine minutes. And there we have it, folks. 
Safari's clearly demonstrated how easy it is to transfer a Kitagawa rotary table from one machine to another using Kitagawa's own independent fourth axis control system and not rely on the machine's own control system. Yes, today we have highlighted the advantage of the Quinte controlled rotary table. You can move the rotary table onto any machine regardless of the control systems. Yeah, this is especially useful if uh, one machine has a Heidenheim controller and then the next machine has a Fanuc control. You can simply plug the Quinte controller into the machine's M code and safety circuits. Yeah, you can move the Kitagawa rotary machine onto any machine. It goes where the work is. So Quinte controlled rotary tables offer unmatched flexibility. Scalable, cost effective, flexible. And we can take it one step further with our remote control option. Our remote control option, I like the sound of that. So this uses an RS-232 ports and cables uh, to allow for macro programming direct on the CNC control. Uh, and this sends programs or commands to the Quinte uh, one line at a time. Ah, so I wouldn't have to touch the Quinte controller at all. All programming is entered into the CNC control system. Absolutely right. And this essentially makes it much easier for a programmer to uh, enter in a program onto the machine's control. And it's also a much neater option. And here at XYZ, we like that. So thanks for coming in and using our showroom here in Bolescombe today, guys. You'll be welcome back anytime you like. Thanks so much for having us, Mike, and letting us demonstrate our rotary tables working seamlessly with your machines. Thanks so much for watching the Kitagawa Europe Focus channel, and we hope to see you again next time.